What's up guys and welcome back to Valheim, baby. It's a brand new day. I believe it's day nine out here in the forest. And uh, we are going to be venturing out where no Viking has ever gone before. We are going to be heading southeast here into the dark forest in search of tin and copper and freaky things that we haven't met before. It's going to be interesting. We'll see how it all works out. I'm a little bit nervous, but... Um, Hopefully, we're going to be able to survive. Hopefully, we're going to have a good day here. Now, the only thing that I've done off screen is I got us a little bit more food as well. Oh, shoot. I probably should have left that back at home. Whatever. All right. We're going to have to take it with us. I also made us this wooden shield so uh, we can, you know, have our little little pokey stick out as well as be able to block and parry and stuff like that. So, hopefully, it works out for us. Hopefully, we don't die. I know we... Uh, Got to find some some copper, which according to the comments last episode, I walked over a lot of it. This is actually copper right here. So thank goodness we saw it this time. So it looks like it's it's just kind of like these rocks covered in moss, but they have the little, you know, glowy parts sticking out of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this. Ooh, look at that. Do we get any copper from that? We got rock from... You don't even get copper every time. Okay. So the tin was really easy to find. It's just kind of little deposits on the ground over near the, um, near the, what's it called? The water. Ooh, we just got our first copper ore, brand new material right there. So that's the thing. This is just ore. We're also gonna need to, uh, to do a little bit of grinding to be able to make like a smelter and stuff like that. We're gonna have to make charcoal. We're gonna have to make uh, uh, all kinds of stuff to be able to melt the ore down into bars to be able to actually turn those bars into weapons and um, you know, armor and stuff like that. So, it's gonna be a, uh, a bit of a grind here, but we're okay. Let me just, um, keep swinging this thing. Oh, what's up, boys? All right, here we go. So, I've got this. If he tries to hit me, we can block it, which is great, but we can also parry, potentially. Are we getting... That's just wind. So, if we, if we wait till it's a little bit closer... Oh, shoot, we got lots of them out here. Come on, baby. All right, I'm gonna kill these little graylings. But if we wait until he gets a little bit closer and we do it a little bit more last minute. Come on, you scared of me? There it is. Got a nice little counter that stuns him a bit and then you can, um, you can, what's it called? You know, kind of get a couple extra hits in before they regain themselves. So we're learning, we're getting better. It's time to just sit here and whack some stones. It's gonna be really nice when we improve our our pickaxing ability here, our picking ability. I don't know how you'd say it, but um, it, it just it, it takes. So, oh, there we go. I think we just had a little level up there. It takes so much stamina. Like it, it, it takes so many hits just to be able to break one little section, and we have to keep stopping and letting the stamina go back up and stuff like that. So this is um. I mean, this is just straight up work. This, this is not very fun. Dude, this game is just beautiful. Look at this. Look at the sun cascading through the trees there. Got the blue sky. The greenery around us. Really kind of makes you appreciate the fact that I'm sitting here. I've, I've hit so much copper, our, our pickaxe is gone. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can... Uh, I'm pretty sure... Can't you place copper? Boom. If you double click, you can put the, the copper marker on the map. And then I think... How do you how do you take it off? I'm not oh you 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 click it like that to take it off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put here copper. Now we're gonna be able to go back home, which I believe is this way. And we're gonna be able to drop everything off, fix our pickaxe, and then come back. We're gonna be able to find that copper deposit really quickly. I'm gonna be honest though, the copper's frustrating. So everything else in this game, like you want wood, go chop down a tree. You want uh, you know, Flint, go to the water and pick it up, that sort of thing. Like, it, it's all, you know, instant gratification. Here with the copper, I mean, we, we hit that thing until our, our pickaxe ran out. And we got only 11 pieces. Which I guess isn't, it's not that bad. It's better than I thought. But, um, still just takes a really long time. Back home in the meadows, baby. Look at that. I'm actually, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be time to upgrade our house. I, I feel like we're quickly kind of outgrowing it here. I mean, it, it, it did decent for us to start things off, but I, I think we can do better. And I'm, I'm kind of excited to build something a little bit better themed for the Viking era and stuff like that. I've seen a couple of builds on YouTube that, that look really interesting. So we're going to drop off some of the random stuff that we have here. I'm going to put all that away. Uh, we need to drop off our ore and everything else as well. 
just in case we end up dying. Obviously, we don't want to lose it. I actually, I think, I think we may, let's, let's grab some wood and let's, let's build some more chests. Also want to repair up all of our items here. All right, we're good to go back out there. I mean, I guess technically a decent idea might be to build multiple of these, these pickaxes, or we could also end up, um, building like another workbench out there somewhere. I mean, to be honest, we should probably build a second workbench and a house out here because if we have to keep running back and forth, it's just going to take us forever. But yeah, man, next episode, I'm thinking we, uh, I'm thinking we upgrade the, the digs a little bit. We're going to build a, a nicer home. Might be kind of a good idea. Expand a bit. More storage is necessary. Um, definitely just kind of, you know, upgrade our life with the way our character's been been getting upgraded. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this boar down real quick. Not too shabby. We got anybody else around here? I don't see him. Oh, here's an, oh, this is the same. Dude, this thing is massive. Okay, I I mean, I, I might do a little bit more here, but this is taking a really long time. All this for a resource we can't even use yet, man. So we, we need, I don't know if it's a kiln or what it is, but we, we need to be able to build something that actually melts down these deposits into the bars that we're gonna be able to actually use. And uh, to get that, I did a little bit of research here because I, I wanted to know what I was talking about. We're gonna have to go down into some some creepy like graves and, and stuff like that. And I, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. So you guys remember that little like cave thing that we saw towards the end of the last episode, we ran by it. I took a quick look at it and then said, nope. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we have to go do. We have to go down in those things and we need these little glowing orbs in there. I forget what they're called already. So we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a little bit of exploring today and um, it's just it's it's not it's not gonna be a good time. I'm thinking let's let's finish this last one up right here, this last little piece. There's still a little bit more copper we could potentially get eventually from this, so we'll leave the marker on our map, but um, I think it's I think it's about time we go. So we got, I mean, another 15 copper there. Not too bad. All right, so we're, we're going to bring out our, our, you know, shield and, and thingy here. And I remember it was kind of like it was up on a mountain that we found that thing. Got to be careful because it is getting a little bit later in the day. I don't want to be out here at night. I still don't really know what creeps around here at night. So we're just, we're going to kind of take it easy. It does feel nice to have the shield now. I feel like we're we're a lot more powerful with the shield because we can actually block people's attacks and just feels like we're we're finally becoming a bit of a bit of a legendary warrior like we're meant to be. Here we go. So this is our cave. I mean I guess we we could we could mark this on the map if we wanted to. So we can go like this. I'm gonna say cave. And then it's it's just kind of time to time to walk in here. Here we go. Oh shit! This, I don't, I don't think this is not what we want. I, I, I don't. It, he's snoring in there. I, I'm not messing with it. No, no, thank you. I, I, I actually, I, I genuinely don't know what to do about trolls. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bite off more than I can chew here. I'm gonna grab some blueberries for sure. It does look like it's starting to get really late. So I'm thinking maybe we go grab a little bit of tin, and then we take our cute little tush back home. Oh, we're gonna, oh. We're running out of stamina because we're on the side of the mountain here. Here we go. Why is he? He's a little bit more red. We're good. Dude, I feel like a boss here. We could totally manage our fights way better. I mean, we're taking a little bit of damage. We got to watch out for our stamina, but... All right, let me... Let me kill this guy. And then if it's... If it's just a one, he's got... He's got like a... A star? Blocked. Just spam him, Trev. There we go. Okay. We're, we're good to go. So the... he Oh, we got a great or trophy from that. So I, I guess they can have different levels. That kind of makes sense. Our enemies are, are you know, some are going to be stronger than others. So we're out here. I mean, let's, let's grab a little bit more tin. Again, we can't even do anything with this yet. I think we're going to go back. We're going to heal up. We're going to, you know, reorganize our inventory and everything. And then we're going to come back out. And I, my plan is to look for one of these really creepy dungeon tomb type things that we need good morning baby day number 10 let's get it we're getting out early i'm not wasting any time we are gonna get right over to the uh to the dark forest i'm thinking let's let's go let's go a little bit deeper into it so obviously we, we've kind of checked through here quite a bit i mean 
we don't want to go too far to the left. We're just I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kind of get deeper in there. New area. Got to find one of these these caves that we're looking for. And um, man, a little bit worried, a little bit nervous. You guys can see we're starting to get into the dark forest based off these trees. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Little half castle here. We got any any skeletors to worry about? I don't see anything. All right, we're just gonna keep on going. I guess, I mean, I don't wanna go too far, too far deep, but we're gonna definitely explore. The same stones that were, or like the glowing orbs or whatever you wanna call them that we're looking for uh, to be able to make the, the, the kiln, to be able to melt down our, our resources can also, add, oh, there's a big thing of copper right here. Okay, I'm gonna mark this on the map. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Copper. So this way, anytime we ever come back, you know, we need copper or anything like that, we're gonna be able to find it, find it really, really easily. Is this all one big piece? I don't think that part is, it's just a rock. Uh, but the same the same things that we're looking for to be able to make our, our smelter, ooh, hello, buddy, are, um, oh, shoot, oh, he's got, there it is. There, they can also make make what's it called? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, these guys are a little bit more serious. We got to be careful here, Trev. We got to be we got to be careful. Blocked. Oh gosh, we're down to twelve health. Okay, this is this is dangerous. I, I gotta I gotta learn the fighting a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we should be. We're down to four health though. Hold on a second. This is really not good. I'm gonna eat that. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, dude, this is, okay. How come we are not regaining health here? I really don't wanna die. Give me these blueberries. If we eat some blueberries, I think blueberries will, okay, our health is starting to go up a little bit. Let me eat this real quick. I just, I wanna kinda play it safe here. But now that it's one-on-one, -on -one, we should easily be able to, be able to block, oh, I don't think we can block him. I think he's too strong to block. I, I, I think I think our shield is too weak. What's going on over here? We've got like this blue fog. Is were they defending something, or did they just happen to all be in the same area? I thought I saw something over here that was interesting, but I I guess not. And then Hugh Gear showed up, and now he's gone. Okay. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, and we we nearly lost a battle with some some very weak skeletons. The things that we're going after today can also be used to build portals. So obviously right now we're doing a lot of walk. What is that? We're doing a lot of walking around and, and you know, you have to venture out and then go back home and whatever else. You can actually build portals all around the world and then teleport to places, which is pretty cool. What is that big mother sucker? Great or brute. What's up you big ugly? He's actually really weak. He's got a long charge up on his attack there. Okay, he, I mean, it was a bad ancient seed material. What is that? We did well because he wasn't looking. He wasn't expecting the attack. I think that's why our first arrow did a lot of damage. Take him down. I hate that these guys throw stuff at you. All right, this, this is a lot of them. Okay. You can easily get overwhelmed in this game. Just focus one of them. Try to, try to take the one down, and then when it's a 1v1, it's easy. What's up, buddy? Where are you going? Let our stamina come back. Take him down. Holy cow. Okay. So we obviously have a lot to learn. We really need to get our stamina up. It's It's been a little bit rough, but we're going to be fine. They had the, the big guy, and they were all defending this area over here. This probably has something good. Let me get our bow out. I'm going to take this skeleton down. Not all the way down, but hurt him at least. Got another skeleton over there. Is there a way to predict when he's gonna fire? I mean, you can hear the, the bow drawing back, I guess. So he's down. Let me see what else we have here. Bro, I feel like, oh, oh, there's a guy up top. What you guarding, bro? About to hit you right off this thing. He doesn't even take any fall damage. How come all you guys are all around this one little area and then there's nothing here? I feel like 
I feel like we should find something interesting in some of these. I want some treasure. I'm, I'm looking for one of those caves. I'm looking for something cool. I was really scared of the Black Forest in the last episode. We're, we're starting to kind of get a, a feel for it. What is that? A purple thing. I'm gonna try to take a look at it from a distance. Just make sure there are no enemies. What is that? Yeah, I mean it's it's an intense area, but it's manageable. It's it's not like it's not like this is something that you can't handle. What is this? Hello? Is it a I think it's a monster spawner. Is it Bro if so, we could totally, you could farm this. Oh, oh, okay, watch out, Trev. All right, that was, that was bad. Okay, can't farm it if you get down in his face like that. We let him swing and then we sprint out of the way. There you go. Oh, but then he follows up really quickly. So we can get a hit in, sprint at him, hit him. Oh, that's the tree. Sprints away, come back. But you can't get two hits in. He'll hit you before you get the second one off. He's down. On the last guy, we got a, a brute trophy, which I feel like is probably pretty good. We could sit here and just farm this. Let me... Ah. Oh. There's another big guy over there. This is great. I'm going to mark this. Spawner. Take these guys down. Dude, I love it. Last episode, we were terrified of these guys and we could... We could hardly do anything to them. Ooh. I think, I don't think you can block when you're out of stamina. Shoot, dude, the sta it, it always comes back to the stamina. Every time it comes back. Get a nice little block in. Take him down. Let's hit this guy here. We gotta work on our, our aiming a bit. There it is. Took him down. There's still one more over here. Should be a nice hit right there. Alright, gonna go down. Let's finish him off. No, what? I was trying to switch to my my spear and it just did, I, I pressed three like three times and it didn't it didn't switch. Okay. We're fine. We still have one more guy over here. Now there's no I feel like the skeletons kind of watch over the more important stuff, so I I don't see any skeletons here. I don't think it's going to be that good. Yeah. Just another empty house. Oh. Veg Vizier the El that's our next boss. We just, we just, we got the location for our next boss. It's off, it's off the coast. We're going to have to build a boat. So I guess that's good news for us. It does look like the sun's starting to go down a bit. Unfortunately, we just, we haven't, I mean, we, we, we haven't found what we're looking for out here. I was really hoping we were going to find it fairly easily and it, it just didn't, it didn't work out for us. I'm going to see, I mean, if we, if we go a little bit over to the right. I'm gonna go back to the right. We're gonna hit like this area in here that we haven't looked through yet. I, I really, I want to find one of those dungeons. I, I, I mean, obviously they're not gonna be easy to encounter if it's got valuable stuff in there, but that was kind of the, the, the goal here and obviously it, it didn't work out. Oh, oh, hello. Delves and dungeons can be found across the 10th world. They are monuments of the past, most often filled with the riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Burial chambers. Bro, what the fudge? Okay, I'm scared. Woo! Probably want to... Nope. Oh, shoot! There's two of them. Hold on. So, I, I want I want this out. They can't come up on my rock. Let's go. All right. So, I, I, want, I want the shield so I can block. Obviously. Or we could just spam him. He's been spammed. I mean, it's kind of nice that they can't come up on the, the rock. So, I can, I can just sit here and do this all day. No problem. Get out of there. We're good. Take a swing, bro. That's right, you're scared. 
I'm totally not scared of you. Whew. Okay. So we've got yellow mushrooms. We've got more stuff back here. Yellow mushrooms. So obviously these caves are all different. Some of them are really big. Looks like we got a one room one. Oh. I just hear something. Gonna say, if these guys like respawned and rushed in on us or something like that, I'd be a little bit mad. So in the chest, we've got a small pile of feathers, amber, and five flint head arrows. So the glowing stones, the glowing orbs, which are sometimes in little like crevices like that, we did not get any in this first one. So basically, we got screwed. Gonna be able to pick that up. Nothing over here. Oh, oh, there's a door. Oh, shh. Oh, there's, there's one! Certling core! We need ten of these to build the smelter. Oh, what the... Is that a spawner? That's a mother trucking spawner! That's a mother trucking spawner! Oh, dude! I'm gonna try to take pop shots at it with the bow and then we can run away and we can we can take him on up front out here where we know we're safe. Does he have a bronze shield? Bro, they spawn one with a bow. I'm screwed. My strats my strats done. I they, they spawn with a bow. He's got a bow. I, I can't uh, I gotta let myself reheal for a minute. He's got a bow, so we can't we can't cheese it anymore. Looks like bow guy's gone. Nope, he's not. Shoot, dude. Kill him. Alright. We gotta kill this thing. No, dude! Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm 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 very obviously not prepared for this, and we're gonna end up dying. I, I'm I'm gonna be really upset if we end up dying. So we we found our first one here. Let's mark it on the map. Um shitheads. Bam. So we we know exactly where we need to come back. We're, we're not really gaining, uh, you know, what's it called back very quickly? Shoot, now we gotta get freaking home, dude. I'm scared. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Make sure you keep yourself at, at least half stamina at all times, Trev, because you are gonna have to run at times. We're healing back really slowly. We What we need to do, because we just, we have too much to lose at this point. What we need to do is come... With all of the, the tool, I mean, we technically have the tools. We just didn't have the resources. We need the resources. Oh, is this? This is another burial chamber, I think. Okay. I'm going to name this. Chamber. Bam. Love it. Good work, Trev. Oh, they got green eyes at night. They got green eyes at night. Green eyes at night. We're going to be fine. Keep your stuff at half just in case. Let's just get back to the meadows and let's get the heck home. Uh, we, we need to, to come out with the intention of building a roof and a bed. If we have a place where we can save out here and respawn and stuff like that, obviously that's going to be very useful. As we're out here collecting all this stuff, getting all the, you know, bounty and goodies and everything else, there's no way we want to die out here and then have to have to go all the way back, fight our way down into that cave with no resources no sword no shield no spear anything like that we just we, we got to take it bit by bit piece by piece this game is something else bro like it, it it's genuinely terrifying we did well there i, I feel like we we, we you know kind of conquered some fields I, I, I fears fears and fields for sure um i, I definitely ooh, we made a mistake there can't can't let your your stamina down if we had more stamina we'd be better off there's no doubt about that um i, I definitely i feel more confident and what we're doing, you know what I mean? Like, if we kind of conquered... Oh! Oh! oh <clears throat> Nothing. No, it didn't, didn't, didn't spook me at all. I don't know why that boar ran away from me. I'm, I'm worried about dying, but I guess we've, we've kind of gained back a little bit of health here. So, that's good. Um, I, we, we were definitely more confident. I mean, if, I feel like we handled it pretty well apart from that burial chamber, which is just scary. We need better armor. We need better swords and stuff, which the, the, you know... Irons and metals we're getting will get us. We just have to get there first. Um, just we're gonna go back. We're gonna regroup. Obviously, we're gonna go back to those two chambers. We gotta find ten of those certling cores, and uh, from there, we're gonna be sitting pretty. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, I kind of mentioned in a comment in the last episode. 
I'm not sure if this is going to end up being like a full, full series. I, I, I'm really enjoying the game. But I feel like those of you guys who are here are really enjoying it too. I mean, it's it's getting decent views. It's just not great. I feel like there, there might be other things we can play that more people would enjoy all at the same time. But I don't know. At the same time, I'm kind of enjoying it myself. So maybe we'll keep it going. We'll see what happens. If you guys are enjoying, be sure to drop a like. More support I see, more likely we're going to keep this thing around. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.